Welcome to today's video on wastewater disinfection, where we'll be exploring the chlorination method, a widely used technique to ensure water safety and quality. We'll take you through the step-by-step -step process, discuss the benefits, and also touch on some critical concerns associated with this method. Chlorination is the process of adding chlorine or chlorine compounds like sodium hypochlorite to water. This method is highly effective in eliminating pathogens, bacteria, viruses and other harmful microorganisms that can pose significant health risks if left untreated. Step 1. Pre-treatment. Before chlorination, the wastewater undergoes pre-treatment to remove large solids, sediments and organic matter. This step is crucial as it ensures the chlorine can effectively target the harmful microorganisms. Once the pre-treatment is complete, chlorine is added to the water. This can be done using chlorine gas, liquid chlorine or hypochlorite solutions. The amount of chlorine added depends on the quality of the wastewater and the desired level of disinfection. After adding chlorine, the water is thoroughly mixed to ensure even distribution. It is then held in a contact tank for a specific period, allowing the chlorine to react with the contaminants effectively. This time is known as the contact time, and it's crucial for achieving complete disinfection. After the contact time, the treated water is tested for residual chlorine levels. If necessary, dechlorination agents like sulfur dioxide may be added to neutralize any excess chlorine before the water is released into the environment or reused. Chlorination is popular for several reasons. Here are some key advantages. It's highly effective against a wide range of pathogens, including bacteria, viruses and protozoa. Chlorination is relatively inexpensive compared to other disinfection methods, making it accessible for large-scale use. It provides residual disinfection, meaning chlorine remains in the water, continuing to kill pathogens as the water travels through distribution systems. With over a century of use, chlorination has a proven track record of reducing waterborne diseases. While chlorination is effective, it's not without its drawbacks. Here are some concerns of great importance. When chlorine reacts with organic matter in water, it can form harmful byproducts like trihalomethans, THMs, and haloacetic acids, HAs, which are linked to cancer and other health issues. Chlorine gas is highly toxic and poses significant risks if not handled correctly, including the potential for accidental releases that can harm workers and the environment. Residual chlorine in discharged water can harm aquatic life, disrupting ecosystems if not properly neutralized. Chlorination is less effective against certain pathogens such as Cryptosporidium and Giardia, which require higher doses or additional treatment methods. In conclusion, while chlorination remains a cornerstone of wastewater disinfection due to its effectiveness and cost efficiency, it's important to be aware of its potential drawbacks. By understanding both the benefits and the risks, we can make informed decisions to protect public health and the environment. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more informative content.